Okay, again, so this is the sign. Willie and I challenged each other. She sent me a sign, and I sent her one. This was Faith Over Fear, and I'm sure this is available in her Etsy store. Okay, all right, so let's get started. I'm trying to, man, it's only allowing me to see so much. Oh, well. I already went ahead and did my poofs and my poofs are at 12 inches okay and this is a 16 inch wreath base it has some purple tinsel ties on there so I thought I would go ahead and use it um, um, I also cut my this is 21 inch mesh 12 inch poofs all the way around then I have this mesh which when I saw Willie's sign, I was a little bit worried because I only have certain things in stock and I thought, oh my gosh, now what have I got myself into? But I'll tell you what, all the colors that are in this sign are pretty much in this mesh. Now this mesh is a PolyPro mesh, it's called PolyPro Mesh Ribbon. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's kind of like the variegated See how it has the pink, the blue, the turquoise, and then it kind of fades in and out? Well, it's not very solid, okay? Solid, and what I mean is it doesn't cover up a whole lot. It's pretty sheer, all right? So I needed something on the bottom that was going to be kind of dense. Um, so that's why I went with the, the purple, all right? So I cut my 10-inch mesh at 30 inches all right so we're gonna get started this is just a regular mesh it has um, the metallic in it and this this mesh, this uh, sign that Willie made looks like glitter I mean it's beautiful all right so I'm gonna do like the woodland ruffle here I think or did I do the I did the curl all right But like I said, I went ahead and did the bottom already because I know most of you know how to do the poof. And I'm only given an hour before um, Willie goes on and I can't wait for you to see her sign. I, I think we challenged each other. I know, that's the only purple mesh I had. And I, you know, when, when we decided, when we talked about this, I thought, oh, you know, I'll have something to match it. And then I was freaking out because when I order now, it takes forever for my um, orders to come in. But I have a big order coming in of ribbon to go with my new fall and winter lineup. Mm, so I'm excited. And I have to share with you real quick all right look at this this is my first garden flag that turned out okay who was it when we held the contest on my uh, robin's wreath signs and more um, we had a contest and everybody decided to enter what they would want to see in a sign now the lighthouse the hatteras lighthouse won but this was who requested this? A Carol requested, welcome to our pool. And I thought, you know, that's what all the signs say. So this is life is better in the pool, which is really true. And then what I did was I also made it in a sign. And see, all the items here are on the bottom of the pool. They're in the water. So... That is a different sign from all the pool signs that are out there. Then we have this, autumn leaves, pumpkins please, because somebody requested an autumn red truck, different from everybody else's. Hi Johnny, how are you? Then this is one of my newest ones. This is actually one that is in the gnome sign, but I had somebody make me wreath attachments for this that I have to paint. So um, this is says, honey, home is where my honey bee. Hi, Missy. 
Thank you, Janet. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thrilled on how that turned out. I actually had a customer that wanted it. Um, she wanted a sign, and then when she saw I did the garden flag, she definitely decided she wanted the garden flag. And, and all these signs, I have ordered ribbon to totally match them. This is Life is Better at the Cabin. So that's one of the new ones. Now these aren't listed on Etsy yet. And if you're not a member of my Robin's Resigns and More, you need to go over there because I put a coupon code in there to my Etsy shop. And I don't think anybody's discovered it yet because they're not using it. Then this one says Peace. And this one, I have a special friend that requested this and she requested it during the contest and I couldn't decide how I wanted to make it. So I waited a while. I sent her a copy of it. She hasn't seen it yet. So I was kind of hoping Connie would jump on. Connie was fighting leukemia a while back and she said that her, the thing that kept her going was this phrase, it is what it is. So I actually took the leukemia ribbon and put that in there. And I don't know if you can see it. It's amongst um, succulents. And I know, I know Big Lots carry succulents. I know Dollar Tree carries them. And I thought, and she wanted a green border and she wanted the words in black on it. So that's, that was the uh, inspiration for that one. And I'm hoping to send it to her. Um, and then I was working on this the end of last week when cardinals appear angels are near i wanted something that was a little bit different than what's out there and i think i achieved that then marilyn hartzell she was requesting a firefighter sign and i don't know if you can see this there's all flames coming up behind it and i know this was also requested too in this family, no one fights alone. I know right now there are a lot of cops out there that shouldn't be on the force, but there are an awful lot of cops out there that should be on the force. And I know that they have everybody's back. So that was developed for them. I have an EMT one that I didn't get printed off today. That's a new one. And uh, I finally got my banner right now. It wasn't working before because it was a little too long. So, so that is now available. And I have two, three other flags coming out. And you can, I can do a flag to match the wreath sign that goes on the door. So I thought that was a good combination. Um, but everybody else says, you know, life is better at the pool, blah, blah, blah. Nobody says life is better in the pool. So I love that one. And I'm so happy this turned out because my first one was a total disaster. It did what they call ghosting. It kind of jumped and then I had a double impression and then I had some spots that weren't even pressed and oh, what a mess. So I got it down now. So we're, we're on a roll now. So look for a lot of new flags coming out. Um, a lot of different things coming out. All right, so let's get back to the sign that um, Wilhelmina made to challenge me to make a, a wreath from. So. So other than hot, is everybody having a good day? I had an awesome day. My grandson was here and he is a little cutie. And you know, if you, there's anything you can't find and you want it on a sign, you just send me a request. But a lot of the ribbon I just bought is already sold out on other sites. So, if you're looking for a particular ribbon, I'm hoping they're shipping it tomorrow. So it should take 
I'm hoping by the beginning of next week to have it. So I think that'll be cool. A lot of different ribbon. And they had that floral ribbon, Missy, but I kind of just bought one. I didn't buy the others because I thought it's kind of a little late in the season. Hello, Antoinette. How are you? My poofs are at 21 inches. My 10 inch mesh here was cut at 30 inches. The 10 inch mesh was too sheer, so it wasn't going to, because I wanted to do the whole wreath with that, but it wouldn't work. So, and if you don't want to, you don't want to miss Willie's live. She goes on after me. It's Tag Team Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we're going to do something different. And I made her a sign, and she's being challenged to go on and make a wreath with that sign. So I want you all to head on over to Willie's. It's Wall Decor by Faye. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, you need to. Hers and mine. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And if you haven't liked my Robin's Wreath Signs and More page, you need to do that because there's a Etsy coupon on there. And those coupons will only be available to my customers that are on that page. Okay, this is the sign that Willie made. Faith over fear. A lot of glitter. You got turquoise, you got pink, you got purple, you got flowers in there, some blue jay feathers. I have the sign I made her, but I want you to see it on her live. So. It's only one of two in the world. <laughs> we have a lot of fun because we have a lot of common interests and we met it um, in Rochester at the Wreath Gala. I knew Willie through Lori's group, but we had never met in person and we just had a blast. And her husband, Steve, a, a, he's a crack up. We had so much fun. We went out. They took me to Hobby Lobby. I had never been inside a Hobby Lobby. We went out for pizza. We just had a blast. We made our own fun. Oh, good. Because let me tell you, Missy, let me tell everybody, her sign has money in it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and of course it had to have a Yorkie, right? I spent probably close to two hours on her sign. Cause I just, I kept finding things to put in it. When you're making a sign, it's so much fun to just add all these little touches to it. I know sometimes, I think on hers, I get, probably got a little carried away, <laughs> but it was not hard to get carried away because I was making it for her. I was, I was creating a statement and uh, we told each other what our favorite colors were so that's what we went with when we made the sign. I don't have any chip clips down here, guys, so I'm improvising here. And I told her, I told Willie, you're going to cry when you get the sign. <laughs> and then you're going to laugh. And she did. She, she cried and she laughed, so I was right. 
I got the reaction out of her that I wanted. And when I got her sign, I was so thrilled because she knows that turquoise and purple are like my favorite colors. So it's just fun. It's just fun to challenge each other. If any of you do do wreathing and you have like a friend or a business buddy, swap signs. It's so cool. We did that on Lori's group one time. I initiated it and a bunch of us were swapping signs and uh, it was fun. It's just a challenge. <laughs> yes, you have to have a Yorkie when you're with me. I have seven Yorkies, just so you know. They have their own room and it's a long, big room. And now I got three puppies that I'm weaning right now, besides taking care of my grandson, which my husband's been extremely helpful with that because we tag team watching our grandson. If he has something that he has to go do, then I watch the baby and vice versa. So it's working out great. And if you haven't spread the love for me, I'd really appreciate it. Look at those colors. I mean, can you see all the colors that it's pulling out of the sign? This is an awesome sign. And I'm sure Willie has it on her Etsy, in her Etsy shop. Or it will be there soon. And Willie, if you can, post a link to your page. So everybody can just hit that link when I'm done and head on over. I put all the links at the top of my page here in the comments. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. If you're not subscribed to Robin's Resigns and more, if you want coupons, which there's one on there now, you need to go subscribe just have to answer a few questions oh it is okay great thank you and someday Willie's gonna come up and we're gonna do a live right here Steve has offered to bring her up as long as he can eat. Now, I'm not sure what that means. Do you not feed him? <laughs> and, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the new ribbon when it comes in. So as soon as it comes in, we're going to do an, unbo an unboxing because I got some pretty awesome ribbon that's sold out everywhere else. Hey, Denise, how are you? Where is that sign, Denise? I've been waiting to see you make something with it. <laughs> well, if he loves to eat, I love to bake and cook, so. We don't have a grill, but I would be more than happy to make him whatever he's hungry for. Within reason. <laughs> the pizza we had in New York was great pizza. Let's see, Denise just hopped on. I'm watching my timing because Willie goes on at seven. But check this out, Denise. We have now garden flags. Life is better in the pool to match the sign. So you can have this wreath on the door and then a garden flag right out by the door. And then we have in this family, no one fights alone. Somebody had requested a firefighter. I have an EMT one that I just finished that I haven't printed out yet. When cardinals appear, angels are near. Look at all the colors in that. 
And then this one is for Connie, and she still hasn't seen it yet, but this is what she had requested because she fought leukemia. It is what it is. She said that was her phrase for getting through what she had to go through. And these are all succulents. So I got awesome ribbon to match this. I've got awesome ribbon to match this. Life is better at the cabin. Oh, yay. I can't wait to see it. Home is where my honey be. And I actually have um, some wreath accessories that are going to go with this sign. They're awesome. And then Autumn Leaves Pumpkin Please because somebody, I'm not sure who it was, but somebody requested an Autumn Red Truck sign. And then we finally have the sizing on this and I can do any initial in here. Wouldn't that be cute just with, with, with um, what's the word I want to use? Not ribbon, um, twine and a, a nice bow, farmhouse bow or a black check bow, buffalo plaid. Why do they call it buffalo plaid? Can anybody explain that to me? The buffaloes aren't plaid. <laughs> I'm just curious. The sign we're using is faith over fear. Willie sent that to me, wall decor by Faye, to challenge me to make a wreath to go with the sign. Willie makes signs and I make signs. Ours too, Denise. I still, I want seagulls to go with my lighthouse one and I still have yet to find them. Even uh, Willie went looking for me in Virginia Beach and she couldn't find them or wherever that shop was that you go to that has all the beach stuff. Look at these colors. I mean, I'm pulling out every color that's in this sign. The pink, the turquoise, the purple. We're getting it all. We're getting it on. And then we're gonna jack it up. The poofs are 21 inches. And the ruffle here is um, 30 inches. I'm watching and I'm talking at the same time. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any. I think I did because I got one extra there. So now I have to go find it. You'd think they would have them there. But I'll find them. It's just still a work in progress. And I'm actually going to change the bow because I'm not liking the one color in the bow. So I sold my gnome wreath, the patriotic one, and I got a custom order. The lady that bought that wreath, she went and showed it to a lady that owns her own barber shop. Well, now she wants a barber shop um, wreath with a sign on it so so that's what i've been working on a barber shop so it should be cool if i get it done by tomorrow i'm going to um do that during my two o'clock if i don't get it done then we'll be doing probably the bee wreath tomorrow that is if i can I don't have any issues with my grandson. He's so cute. You know that baby smell? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're going there? Oh, Denise. I am longing for the beach. There it is. There's the one we missed right there. Aren't these, co these colors... When I saw this sign, I, I, I told Willie, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I have something to match it. And then when I looked at this, it was like a perfect match. And you can get this variegated like mesh. I got it at Hobby Lobby. 
that time when I went with Willie and her husband. Oh, I'd love to be going to the Outer Banks. Okay, I think it was a good idea to put that purple on the bottom. It's just that this mesh was so sheer, there's no way I could have used it on the whole wreath. So there we go so far. I left the tag on this wreath piece. <laughs> oh, all right. Now with this, I'm not going to do tails. I'm not. So... I think what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to put the bow and over here I'm going to put the sign. But check this out. I had this and see it's like a turquoise. Can you see it? I'm going to actually run that around the wreath in lieu of tails. So, and by running it around let me see if I can get you to see what I'm doing. I thought it'd be kind of cute just to do this. Just loosely tie it around to give a pop of that color. I actually had this for a, a wreath last year that I made. Nope, okay. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to make a tail out of it. I'm probably going to cut them at like 12 inches. Let's see. Or maybe I'll do it this way. I'm just playing with it because I wanted to do something different with it. And like I said, I wanted to pull out the color in the sign. I think what I'm going to do is kind of make like a bow, like that. Yep. So let me see what that's cut at. So, going backwards here on my thing. So this is cut at like 28 inches. So I'm going to make like a bow out of it just like that okay and I'm gonna put that in all the bottom ones because I just want to pull some of that color out but I still wanted you to be able to see the color of the mesh because to me it just complements the sign so well so we're just gonna do that all the way around in lieu of tails we're gonna have like a bow made out of this netting just something different and I think I'll dovetail it too why not and then I'll kind of spread it out I'm just reviewing my decision here for I put the one bow and then I just cascade this all the way around I'll just try that I'm just sorry guys I'm just getting really tired of the tails it's time for a change and if we don't do it who will I don't know let's see I like it better like this. Almost like an awareness ribbon. Let 
Nope, they don't like that either. All right. Try something else. I'm gonna go up and then down. And then back up again. And then down. So I'm gonna miss some. It's not gonna be put in all of them, it's just gonna be put in some of them. So up and then down. Because then it goes through the middle of my ruffles and curls here, or my cruffles, or whatever they're called. I think I like that better. Just a little punch of turquoise color in there. Whoop. a little bit of dimension. Then we go back up. So it almost creates like a V. I'm liking that better. And then look, it ends up on a down. take this bow out first because we're going to end it up here where we started it. I should have ended it down here. So we'll take this up here and then this is where we started and it worked out even. We can hide that down in there and then we'll put our bow back down in here. Y'all see okay? Hey Judy, welcome. All right, I think I like that better. It's just different, little punch of color. Just watching my time so I don't go over here. All right, so it's kind of like do do. Do, do. There's where we got so far. 21 inch mesh, 12 inch poofs, 10 inch mesh at 30 inches, cut at 30 inches. All right, now we're gonna do our bow. And I do have some flowers to put in here. Now I really struggled with the, the ribbon and it's not the sign it's me I always second guess myself but I liked this because I thought okay it's got the turquoise in it you've got your pink up here okay and down below you've got your purple and then to tie it in I thought this pink with the um, with the sign it has, you have the pink flowers in here, so I thought this would look good. Hi, Nanny Dot. How are you? So we're going to, oh crap. I need to go get myself a new Bodabra. I got everything falling apart. The Bodabra is falling apart. The Easy Bed is falling apart. Nanny Dot, look. There is Carol's sign, or garden flag she wanted. Isn't that cool? All right, now I need me some tents and ties. And I only have pieces here, so we're going to connect them together. I do have a, I do have some pipe cleaners. Let me get, I, I really like that that turquoise on there. That really highlights the frame within the sign, doesn't it? 
And you know what? Let's take some of this and let's add it in the bow. Let's add it, let's do this first, do this second, then we'll add that in. Oh yeah, we are on a roll. Oh, you're missed. I bet you're not busy either. All right, so again, I chose this because of it matching the sign. So I'm going to do about a 12 inch um, tail and about a 6 inch loop. I like my three loopers and two tails. Yep. Bet you're missing all the babies. All right, I'm just going to use my bow dabber to hold it. I hope it holds it. Because it's not <laughs> looking too good. Then we're going to go with the pink, because I'm going to pull the pink out of the sign. And, I, and see, I was challenged, we were, were challenged each, challenging each other, and I decided I was going to use what I had on hand. I was not going to go out and buy anything. So, just, and when I saw that it matched that ribbon, that, that was just amazing. Because I bought that ribbon a long time ago and haven't had anything to use it on. So. I should have put all these on my handy dandy mesh holder there. And I didn't. So now I'm gonna look like a crazy lady chasing a ribbon. Oh well. It could be crazier, right? There's the other one. There we go. Okay. Just want to make that a little smaller. There we go. Pull it down. in there bow all right now I think I'm going to add some of this in here what the hay let's just put it in the ribbon in the bow I mean yeah let's make it funky Funky, funky, funky. Geez, there isn't a whole lot of that left. And I'm working with the purple that's on the bottom and the purple that's on the bottom of the sign. Am I looking on time? All right. Because you gotta go over to Willie's page afterwards and see her sign. We take our sign making very seriously, right? I can't wait to see what colors. Okay, so my tails ended up on that side, so I'm going to put them on this side. And I'm just flipping back and forth. And then we pulled the pink out. We pulled the flowers out with this one. Y'all still with me? Or did I put you to sleep? Or are you making dinner? Mm. 
And each time I'm just decreasing the loop a little. And tails will be on this side. Okay. So I need a zippy tie. No, it's blurry. Anybody else seeing a blurry camera? Lily, am I blurry? Oh, good, Janet. I'm glad. You guys are just quiet tonight. Willie's prepping. And I'm going to use the pipe cleaner. Well, see, I can't grip these things very well, so I just use a pair of pliers. All right. Let's mount this bow. Which, okay, our bow is down here at the end. So, we're going to put it over here. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, forgot to snap my, cut my zippy tie. All right. cheery. That's a cheery sign. Oh, good. I'm glad because Beth, I couldn't see any blurriness on this end. All right. Now, before I fluff out the bow, we're going to put on the sign. And then I have some flowers, which I better plug in my glue gun before I go any further. So we got glue. Okay, there it is. Got too many plugs here. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put this here. So we need some holes. This is a bead smith. Set of pliers. Uh, great. Well, we're just going to use this for now. I can't find my wire. I feel like I'm in a time crunch. Willie, Willie. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I can go back in and fix this later. Get rid of the pipe cleaner. But for now. And then we'll get our flowers on here. Fluff up our bow. Oh crap. Put this in the wrong place. It needs to be up higher. It needs to be up higher. There we go. And I could, if I wanted to, I could put little, little cheater bows around too. Cheater bows are just little bows that are smaller than the bigger bow. 
Okay. This is tough doing tag team long distance online. <laughs> we thought we'd give it a shot. And I'm going to have to go back and redo this with wire. But for visual purposes, at least you'll be able to see it. All right, let's dovetail and fluff and then add flowers. That one's fluffed. That one's done. How many of you are going to go over to my Robin's Wreathery page and like the page if they haven't done so? There's a coupon over there. You need to go over. Only my customers and my the people on my, my page are going to get the coupon. down here get down there well thank you Beth I know right it the it's the mesh that was making this sign this time it it needed it it didn't need a bunch of tails So often we hide everything with all the the tails, you know, and it's like, no, it doesn't need all those tails. It just needs a little bit of color. I think we got that. There. All right, there's what we got so far. So again, I've pulled all the colors out of the sign, which I'm sure that Willie has it in her Etsy store. So I had some, some blue and some pink. I was going for matching of the flowers in the sign. So that's what we're gonna do next here. We're gonna put in some flowers and there's like some blues in there and pinks. So I want to create like my triangle. So let's see. Just fussing with it now to see where I want to go with everything. There would be my triangle right there. one of these leaves. You don't need it there. There. That's more like it. I have two carnations, blue carnations, and then I have this glittery rose. 
and I thought that's what I like. So we need a little bit more of this here with this, whoops, what the what? Come on. Now I may go back in and add something where we have the bottom. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I create some in front of you and then I go behind and work with it a little more. So I think I like that. This goes up here a little more. Temporarily putting it in place until I decide for sure that's where I want it to go. How are we doing on time? Oh, see? That's why I went ahead and I did the poofs ahead of time. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, and where did it go? Wait a minute. Oh, I even had this butterfly, but you know what? No, it's not gonna look right now. So I'm glad that I don't have it. <laughs> so what do you think so far? No, I'm not ready, Chad, <laughs> but I'll get ready. Yes, there is Denise. Um, she, Wilhelmina posted, it's Wall Decor by Faye. She did post in the comments the link to her store. I think, you know what this needs? Just some little tiny white flowers where I don't have the other flowers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some in, but I have to look for it first. So thank you, Mary. So go ahead over, see what I challenged. See the sign that, see like these, see a little bit of white in here. Look at that. That's what it needed. Just a little bit of white. But this, I think I only have two of, so we'll put that there. We'll put this one here. There. That's what it needed. And then I'll find something just to put down here. I don't know what, but I'll come up with something. But there you go. Lily challenged me with her sign and I accepted. Ah, uh, thank you. So, head on over so you can see the sign that I created for Willie. Actually, I wonder if these would have looked better. Could put these on, no. I'll play with it some more. It's not finished, it's a work in progress, so. Thank you, Janet. Thank you all for, for stopping by. And I can't wait for you to see Willie sign. Um, don't forget to sign into my, my page. Bobbins, Reese Signs and More. And uh, if you have any sign requests, let me know. And we'll see what we can do for you. All right? All right, guys, I'll see you over there. Thank you. Have a good evening.